I am reviewing the Blood Sugar Palette by Jeffrey Star Cosmetics and also the Lip Bundle from the Love Sick Collection. Yes, if you want to see how I got this eye look and how well the palette performed and how all the lipsticks look well and performed, then keep on watching. Thank you. Yes, I have the um, Blood Sugar Palette and the Love Me, Love Me Not Mini Bundle. I'm sorry if you hear any noises like bloodwork. Our council is putting in sewage in our backyard, so if you hear anything, I've tried to block out as much noise as I could, but if you hear anything, one is very far. So hopefully you can hear it. But we are going to try out the two. Love sick products that I have received. First of all, the packaging is very, very expensive with the blood sugar and the mini bundle. They just feel so expensive. It smells expensive. So I am very excited. So I've looked at these, I've smelt it looked at them I have not swatched anything at all because I wanted to wait until I made this video and mine's a little bit tight just because it's made out of leather it is a little bit tight to open and voila big giant mirror when I opened this all I could smell was Cheesecake Shop. If you're not Australian, Cheesecake Shop is just a shop that sells cakes and cheesecakes and all that. So it smells just like cakes, which I'm very excited about because it is about all the sweetness. I'd like to say what else I like is that it comes out flat like that and it's not like sort of angled and because it's Deep. I thought it would be cool to just, I don't use the mirrors in, I've got my own big mirror so I don't need the mirrors in palettes but like that's a great way to hold your brushes. It dirty the mirror which would annoy me so I'd be like cleaning it and making sure it's dry but and that is how the palette looks. I'll do some quick swatches on my arm so we have the swatches here for the top row which is glucose sugarcane cake mix ouch donor and a word that I probably won't be able to pronounce intranervous brown one here so I'll go swatch the second row we have some really really nice colors which I'm probably going to use later so we've got candy floss tongue pop sweetener candy O positive and root canal I'm going to swatch that last row on camera just so you can see how it is swatching so this is prick I'm not putting much on my finger, that's why they're not looking so thick and pigmented. Cherry soda. Fresh meat. And they do feel really nice when swatching. Feel really good quality. This one's blood sugar. Oh, that's a nice one. There's too many colours that I want to use. I'm just cleaning my fingers. Extraction. That's quite nice. And coma. 
the very last one. That one feels a little bit chalky, but we'll see how it goes on with a brush. Now I've just got to decide what I'm actually going to do with my eyes and try and see if I can use as many colours as I can. Let's go in with the Major Look Packing Brush in Sugar Cane and go all over the lid just so there's a base colour so I can blend. And then I always put like a nice light color on my eyelid completely all over just so it is a nice base to blend on and add other colors other than just like the tackiness of foundation. I did not put any primer on because I don't have any eyeshadow primers, eye primers other than the one from Rimmel London but it gets really tacky and it doesn't really work that well so I've got to find a different eye primer so I've just got foundation um, so there's a little fallout just because it's a powder and I'm disturbing it but from what I see it's not too bad I'm going to go in with my Morphe M200 and I'm going to go tongue pop oh there's a bit of fallout more fallout on that one I'm just going to go in the crease with that one. And then I'm going to go light, like the pinks, instead of the darker ones, just because I'm enjoying these pinks. I'm going to do the other eye, and then I'll report back. So that blended out pretty well, was really relatively easy, didn't have any troubles, didn't take too long. I did bring it up to the bone here, just because I'm going to go in with a little bit of a other colour into the crease, so it's like in the crease lid, not over dramatic. I would like, let me find a proper brush for it. Need a small packing brush. I'm going to go in with this A16 of the Spectrum. So it's like a nice little flat brush. And because it's sort of. So I'm going to go into Candy Floss. And it's a little bit of a metallic, that's why I've dampened. dampened the colour and I'm just going to go in the inner corner into the middle of the lid try and get my mirror in focus so you can see what I'm doing So there's a bit of pigment there. I'd like to darken it up, so I'm going to darken it and do the other eye, and then I will be right back. So it came out a little patchy. You probably can't see. So I'm going to go in with a dry brush and see if... Oh, well. <laughs> See if that works. 
bit of fallout. Oh, that second tap didn't have much. See if it is better. Wow, that is so much better. It's not as patchy. I'm quite happy with that. So we don't need to um, wet the brush for that pigment. What will we? I think I'm going to go into cavity and go in to the crease and sort of blend it out into candy floss. Let's do that. Let's see how. So, cavity is a metallic. So, I'm hoping it's a bit of a metallic. It's not too metallic -y, but let's see and I've just got a little small blending brush from the Royal Unicorn collection from Unicorn Lashes it's just this small one here darken that crease up a bit I'm liking it. I'm going to put it under my eye as well. I think that's blending really well. It blended into the other colour candy floss really well as well. And I've just gone up because it's way too pretty to just have in the crease, I think. But I'm going to go into that... Um, Sugar cane, was that the colour I was using? No, that was cake mix. And that was my transition. It wasn't, no. I forgot the, what I put on my eyes. Let's just dust that off. Tongue pop was the colour that I put in my crease. So we'll just extend that and blend it out again. much better okay I'm gonna do the other side and I'm gonna blend it out under my eye probably with this tapered blending brush which is a B04 from Spectrum I'll be right back so I've put the what color is it cavity the pink cavity under the eye into the middle where it sort of stops on top of my eye and then I've also put tongue pop underneath just to blend it out a little bit I'm gonna go into glucose which is the white it's a little fall out as well in a way um, we'll see how pigmented that one is and I'm gonna go in Just a little fall out in my eye. Brighten it up a bit. Now my problem is I want to do more. I think I'll go into sweetener here, which is a, like a metallic. I'm going in with the Lime Crime lip pencil just because it's so tiny. And I'm just going to go in dry. Go 
in a little couple of times. And I'm just going to put it, tighten it on that lash line and probably go all the way. Oh, I keep getting my, my eye. Oh yeah, so I'm going to finish that. I think I'm going to go into a bit of cherry soda here, just with a blending brush from the Unicorn Original brushes from Unicorn Lashes, and just, that might be a little bit too fluffy for what I want to do. Okay, never mind that brush. We're going to use an A12 in the Spectrum. It's a small blending brush, so we're going to go into sugar soda, oh sorry, sugar soda, candy soda. Now these powder pressed ones are a bit full outy, it's not too much. Tongue Pop had a bit of kickback, but let's see. I'm going to go in the middle of my lid. Sorry, I forgot where I told you where I was putting it. Or maybe bottom corner. I was trying to, but then it went to the bottom corner, and that actually looks quite nice. It's a nice colour, just needs a few to darken it up. How's it looking? Alright, I'm going to do my eyeliner and lashes and we'll be back and see how it looks with all of that and see if we need to add any more colour. So I've just put on white liner under the eyes by NYX Cosmetics. My um, liner on top is just the Glam Eyes from Rimmel London. Um, the mascara, if you would like to know what I'm wearing, even though you can't really see because I'm wearing lashes, is um, the Scandal Eyes Rockin' Curls by Rimmel London. And I tried putting on these lashes. These lashes I got from Kmart. Um, most of my lashes are from Kmart because they are cheap and they work. Um, but because how big and extravagant, extravagant they are, they covered all of my design and I did not want to do that. So I've just put on a pair of these, come in two sets. I don't know what the brand is, but it came from Kmart. It's probably the same as this brand. So, um, that is the finished look. I didn't try it. Um, the plan was not to go big eyeliner, but this one worked alright. This one went a bit thick, so I had to make this one thicker. So this is always my good eye. This is my bad eye. They're sisters, not twins, even though they're supposed to be twins. Line is just extremely hard sometimes. But yes, everything blended really, really well. I'm really happy with it. I There's some fallout, but I get fallout with everything maybe because where's this brush this brush just because it's all fluffy and that it just makes it a bit more fallouty because it's picking up more but but the fallout isn't too bad it's not extensive um, so we're going to go on to lips and try them out I know this video is going to be extremely long but I when I got these I 
didn't check what lipsticks was actually in the bundle. I wanted to get the eyeshadow palette, so I just got it and went because it sold out in three minutes. So I only had three minutes when it came online for me to get to get it and get it now instead of waiting. So I just bought the mini bundle without even checking. So three colours, which is doll parts, wifey and <laughs> come out. Prime night I own in the bigger version which I got for Christmas. Um I like Prime Prime Night on me. It looks quite nice. And Wifey is so goddamn perfect for my complexion. It fits so well with most eye looks, most outfits. It's been a staple in my makeup routine for a while. It just suits me so well. But I don't want to try those. I know that they work. So I've got five that I'm going to try out. That wasn't on probably. Um, so we're going to go with Calabasas. Amazing with this eye look. I don't want to take it off now. That looks really good. I actually really like that. Right. I'm going to try another one. So I'm going to rub it off and put that one on. This one's a watermelon soda. Actually does smell exactly like the watermelon, I've got it over here, watermelon soda lip scrub, it smells amazing, um, like the other one, it swiped on really, really well, I only took it out, didn't have to dip in again, it was really nice, evenly pigmented, no patchiness, both the same, so we're going to move on to... Anna Nicole, which I think is just a basic red. So we'll see how that one looks on me. Yes. Went on evenly. Same as the others. Only one dip. Classic red. Really nice. I'm actually really happy that they're all suiting me. Just because I am so pale. But yes, red lips look really nice on pale people so I am concerned about unicorn blood because it doesn't look like a colour I would use so hopefully it turns out amazing but yeah they're all working out really really well now it's just deciding which one I'm going to wear tonight with this look and probably this dress the decisions I'll take this one off and I'll be putting on red rum which is a darker red but still like that classic red I have too many reds it's okay you're right back I haven't put this one on evenly but like I haven't done my lip properly but it went on Evenly, it's not patchy, it's, oh wait, it's a little, little in the cracks of my lips, but that's probably because I'm rubbing and my lips are getting a bit annoyed, <laughs> but that's a good colour. I want it in the larger size now, and I just dropped 
Ich kann man bleiben und vor. Yeah. That's a nice red. What one am I gonna wear? I don't know. We'll see. And this one is the unicorn blood, which is quite nice as well. I actually really like it. Maybe not as much as the others, but it turned out well. And for a darker colour, it came out quite pigmented and not really patchy. So I'm quite happy with that one. So all the lipsticks tick. Nothing wrong with them. They're not patchy. They applied well. They feel nice. Eyeshadow tick blends really well, even if it's like a metallic y ish. Colours looks really nice. Blended well together, didn't oxidise. It's all good. Smells amazing. So I'm quite happy with the Love Sick Co Election. Jeffree Star, you did amazing, like always. And congratulations on selling out in three minutes. I'm so glad I got a chance to get it in the first run. I had to get up at quarter to four in the morning because I live in Australia and it is 18 hours ahead. We are 18 hours ahead. So... I was there just like refreshing, 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 refreshing until I came on. I do regret I didn't get one of one of the sort of pinky reds that came out with the Love Sick collection. I regret not getting it because it looks quite nice. So maybe in the future I will purchase it. But yes, I'm very happy with everything that I received. And I'm very happy with the card. It'll go with all of my other Jeffree Star cards. I plan to frame them all and when I have my own house and my own space I'll hang them all up in frames and they'll look really good as a backdrop. But thank you for watching. Thank you for learning. Please like this video if you like it or if you just like makeup or like Jeffree. And thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you would like to see more makeup. I do lots of unboxing of subscriptions and tutorials, trying out stuff. So please subscribe if you want to see more. And thank you. And I'll see you all next time.